Welcome to another video tutorial. This is Robert from GenXComputers.com. I'm going to walk you through uh, installation and some of the basic features of using one of my favorite programs that I use quite often, and it's Revel Uninstaller. As you can see, I got the Revel Uninstaller Pro installed. I'm going to uninstall that. Um, so we're going to get started right now, and I'm going to open up Mozilla Firefox to get started. Um, and we're going to go to the download sections on my website at genexcomputers.com. I put a quick link under downloads. And if you scroll down, we're going to click here on this picture. And that's going to automatically pop up the Rebel Uninstall the Free Edition. Um, you can also Google this also um, or type it into any search engine um, that you, you wish and to, to um, get Rebel Uninstaller. But this is a, uh, I, I just cut out the middleman and a lot of other crap, crapware that you might run across when trying to install it because they do like to push that pro version on you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes and okay. Next, I accept. And with the free one, there's a lot less crap that you're gonna get installed. And as you can see, I ran through um, the installation quite simply with hardly any with hardly any um any um toolbars add-ons or anything of that nature so we're going to go ahead and uninstall we're going to use some of the basic features right now let's close this down so we're going to uninstall uninstaller pro driver uninstaller pro and we're just going to take the slower and click on this and click uninstall yes next So continuing on, as you can see, it pops up. It says, are you sure you want to uninstall the program? And basically what we're doing is we're running through the basic uninstallation of um, the program. We're gonna go yes. Our bone installer um, pro is successfully uninstalled. So we hit okay and next. And now what we're doing is we're looking for anything that was left behind, um, registries, keys, anything to that nature. So um, we're gonna hit next and finish if there was anything left behind it would it would have brought it up and we would have been able to remove it that way so um to recap we're going to remove one more program which is this ocean um program right here this is the wallpaper changer so i'm going to go ahead and click on it click uninstall yes next and it's going to launch the uninstaller for this program now with toolbars and things of that nature, a lot of times it doesn't even launch the uninstaller. It just, it's so efficient. It just removes everything for you. So we're gonna hit yes to remove all components and to complete the uninstall. And this is a, a good scenario. It wants you to restart. You don't wanna restart because you wanna catch all of the um, registry keys and stuff. You want Rebel to run and complete. So we hit no on the restart. And we're going to hit next. And as you can see, there go all the leftover registry keys that's left behind. And hit delete, then yes. And it's, at, it's saying that some of these um, things are going to get, uh, um, it's going to get it after the next restart. Hit OK. We're going to hit next and finish. And that's how you completely uninstall the program while removing all of the um, um, crap, crap word that's left behind. And um, toolbars are, are known for leaving a lot of um, crapware, AOL programs, and HP software. Oh my God, is that some crappy software? So um, then we're gonna go to some of the other features that you can use in um, Rebel Installer. So let's go to Tools, Auto Manager, and what this does, this stops a lot of programs that start up. Um, when Windows starts up, it don't remove the programs. It just stop them from starting up when the computer starts up. We don't need Java starting up when the computer starting up. So we're going to go ahead and hit the remove button. We don't need Adobe Reader starting up when the computer starting up. So we're going to remove that. So we're going to go ahead down and jump file cleaner. And this is just a simple um, um, remover of the temporary files and things of that nature. You hit scan and you hit um, you would delete anything that it finds. It's a really quick, efficient way um, of um, deleting a lot of temporary files and basic cookies and things of that nature. And um, there we go. So we're going to delete that. And it will take longer depending on um, how often you do it. And this is another way of deleting some of the basic things of um, Internet Explorer. And 
called Opera also. Um, Microsoft Office, same thing. And then clicking this arrow down here, we can do Windows Cleaner. And as you can see, I can put the check mark in all these boxes here. And as you can see, clicking on them, it tells you, it tell, it tells you right here what, what all it does. Memory dump files, usage log, just a full bunch of list of things, a whole slew of things. So we're going to hit execute. Yes, yes, okay. I should get one more. There we go. Okay. So, um, and that basically covers all of um, the, the basic features of Revel that you would basically need. The Revel Pro does give you more options, but me personally, I do like. Um, I do like and prefer um, just the regular free version of Revel. It, it works really well. It's really efficient. There's um, um, plenty of um, multiple ways of doing things. There's uh, multiple views and um, it's just a lot of different things that you can do. And it's another great tool to use on, alongside of um, um, CC Cleaner, which is another great tool that I use. So, um, and you should be pretty familiar with using CC Cleaner. Obviously, you can check all these here. And I use, generally tell people to use CC Cleaner about once a week or as they feel needed. And I usually don't remove a lot of these from. from um, Firefox, and you will run the cleaner, run cleaner, or you can analyze, then run cleaner. Probably be more efficient to do that. And then for a registry, you scan for issues, fix Alexic issues, and then we're going to hit um, to back up. I usually just go ahead and do something like this here and make the date. And I place it within the C drive. You don't have to make a registry backup. This is just something that I, I generally do on all computers. Um, again, it's just something that I've always been um, keen to do. So, um, but you can just hit the scan and fix. Um, you can also go into options menu here and go to advance and hide the warning menu messages and hide the um, uncheck the only delete and show the prompt backup so if we went from now and put the scan issues you won't get a prompt and you won't get you you get a you it'll remove more files and again if I move too fast feel free to um, pause the video go back go back over it watch it multiple times if you will um, but um, do take it all in um, I, I, I have the tendency to um, to to go go quickly, but um, that's that's the benefit of having and being able to watch a video over and over. You, you can you can watch it at your own pace. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, um, post a comment, or if you have any questions, um, do some, um, go ahead and um, submit a comment or something in the comment box, and um, I will myself will get to you or someone else within um, YouTube. Um, will answer your question within a timely manner, hopefully. Um, I don't check um, the, the comment sections that often, but I, I do respond when I, when I do have the time. So um, do feel free to do that, and um, I, will, I will get back to you. So once again, this is Robert from TenxComputers.com. Thanks for watching my video tutorial for Verbal Installer. Thank you.